guys, it's my March here and we are on our video discussion on module 19 for Gen Z06 Ethics entitled Truth in Social Media and Ethical Challenge Regarding Fake News and Trolling. So this is the second video discussion on the series of video discussions for this week and we will start off by stating the lesson objectives which are the following. Okay, so at the end of the lesson, you will be able to understand the importance of ethics in social media networking, and you should also be able to recognize fake news from what is credible and formulate an action plan to address the problems of trolling, misinformation, and disinformation. Now, when we say fake news or what we call false information okay this these are news okay stories or hoaxes created to deliberately misinform or deceive readers yeah okay so this is usually you know usually these stories are created to either you know influence people's views or some other people would like to push a political agenda or cause confusion okay and can often be a profitable business yeah there are some people who are actually getting money just for you know spreading fake news okay and yeah for online publishers okay so false information can deceive people by looking like trusted websites yeah mukha silang uh, uh, mukha silang katiwatiwala mga websites okay or they are using similar names and web addresses to reputable news organization that's that's the sad thing there say they look like um, they look like credible sources of information because they tend to mimic okay how credible uh, information sources look like okay so well false information is not new okay however it has become a hot topic since i don't know 2017 okay traditionally we got our news from trusted sources from journalists and and media outlets that are required to that are required to follow strict codes of practice so that's that's our source of information before okay however you know the internet has enabled a whole new way to publish to share and to consume information and news with very little regulation halos lahat ng tao pwede nang mag post okay or, or editorial standards okay everybody can post something in the internet okay everybody can can mimic someone or something and then post uh, information as they as their own okay all right and many people now get news from social media sites and networks and often it can be difficult to tell whether stories these stories are credible or not okay so so information overload and a general lack of understanding about how the internet works by people has also you know contributed to an increase in fake news or hoax stories okay social media sites can play a very big part yes there are a lot of fake news in all kinds of social media applications and they, they play a big part in increasing the reach of these types of stories okay so since it's easily for us to create news or create information in in the web in the web okay and it's really easy to spread these kinds of information or misinformation okay through social media sites okay so the increase in in the incidence of fake news is a very alarming okay very alarming now when we talk about trolling okay when we talk about trolls okay a troll okay is an internet slang okay for a person who intentionally tries to instigate conflict or hostility 
or arguments in an online social community okay platforms targeted by trolls okay can include the comment section of youtube forums or chat rooms okay trolls okay often use inflammatory messages to provoke emotional responses out of people disrupting otherwise civil civil discussion and they like this okay they like trolls like riling people up okay they like making people angry <laughs> i don't know why okay maybe it's a sense of satisfaction for them okay so trolling can occur anywhere that has an open area where people can freely post their thoughts and opinions so the trolls are usually attacking comments okay from from specific comments they will try to attack that comments they will send or they will post mean comments about that comment okay all right so who are internet trolls anyone actually okay anyone can be an internet troll okay even the nicest most uh, reasonable and mild-mannered people in real life can be exhibiting trolling behavior once they get online. So hindi mo kilala, hindi natin alam. All right, and 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 this is really uh, this is quite challenging, okay? Because uh, you actually you don't, you actually don't know. All right, you actually don't know who the trolls are. Okay, so. So why, what, what is the reason? Okay, what, what is the reason why people troll? Okay, why do people troll? Okay, so in their daily interactions, okay, most people are motivated by positive social rewards. Most people, okay, meaning that they experience positive feelings after engaging in friendly or helpful behavior. Okay, so because when you when you make friends. In, in social media because you gain something positive from that experience okay then, then you, you, you are motivated to make friends further okay with other people all right trolls are a bit different <laughs> they have higher levels of something called negative social potency mm -hmm. okay so this is a fancy way of saying that they like to cause mischief and suffering along with the intention that entails okay the trolls sole purpose is to cause um, you know uh, fights to cause you know to, to evoke negative emotions all right and they like the attention they're getting by by that okay all right in addition to this okay most on online spaces that encourage discussion allow people to create usernames that aren't linked to their real identities hence it's easy to be a troll okay for for some people because you are hiding behind a username that's not tro totally related to your to your real name so you can you can say whatever you wanted to say behind a username that is not related to your real name all right some will take advantage of this anonymity okay yang nagtatago sa mga iba't ibang klase ng usernames okay that, 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 that is not related to your actual name making it easy to avoid real consequences for their behavior okay dali mag post right dali mag post gawa ka lang ng username na hindi related sa totoo mong pangalan and then you become troll and then you'll get you'll not get caught easily for that so it's really hard okay it's really hard all right now how to spot fake news okay so this is something that we need to look into okay in order for us to you know to not to be uh, a factor or not to be a victim of, of false information or misinformation or fake news okay so first and foremost we have to consider the sources okay click away from the story to investigate the site investigate its mission investigate its contact info credible sources will have um, organizational structure contact info okay they will they, when i say contact info they will put the the full name of 
the owner of that site they will put information address and whatever okay so that you have to consider the source okay you have to consider the website okay you look at the website all right you look at the the, the web address dot gov okay or dot edu are usually credible sources okay you have to consider that okay next read beyond the headline if a provocative headline drew your attention read a little further before you decide decide to pass along the shocking information even in legitimate news stories the headline doesn't always tell the whole story so this is how you will look into this okay makikita mong fake news yan kapag sa title pa lang sinabi na niya kung ano yung laman ng kanyang yang news. Eh kapag ka mga credible uh, sources yan, they will create a title, a simple title without revealing the source or, or without revealing the content of the whole article. Okay? See? <laughs> all right? So uh in 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 this kind of situation, all right? If if uh, uh you know, even legitimate sto news stories, the headline doesn't always tell the whole story, but fake news particularly efforts to be satirical, okay, that can include several revealing signs dun pa lang sa title. Alright, so read beyond the headline, okay? Read all, okay? Mamaya pala, yung content pala nung, yung sa may bandang gitna or bandang last na part ng content ng article, hindi na pala related talaga. Okay? Next, check the author. Do a quick research on the author are, are they credible or are they real okay if they mention a recognized organization that acknowledge them check with that organization if it's really true check new <laughs> if they want let's say for example if they want uh, um special awards some awards especially if it's a well-known awarding body pulitzer nobel <laughs> you check the validity and credibility of that as well okay Supporting sources, okay? Many times, these bogus stories will cite official or official sounding, okay? Sources, but once you look into it, the source doesn't back up the claim, okay? Click on those links, determine if the info given actually supports the story, okay? Ha clickbait lang yan, alright? Next, check the date. Some false stories aren't completely fake, okay? But rather, it's a distortion of real events, mm. okay? They, they are posting as an information that really happened. Pero if you look into it, okay, if, if you look into it closely, it's actually a, um, a bad case of paraphrasing a certain article that happened before, okay? So, uh, these Mendacious claims can take a legitimate news story and twist what it says, or even claim that something that happened long ago is related to related to current events. Next, is it a joke? Okay, remember that there is such a thing as a satire. Ano pa ibig sabihin ng satire, guys? Normally, uh, it's cl clearly labeled as such, and sometimes it's even funny. So what's a, a, what's satire? Satire is a way of making fun of people by using silly or exaggerated language. Okay, so the the, the uh, politicians are easy targets for satire, especially when they're acting self-righteous or hypocritical. They tend to exaggerate on things, and they tend to make fun of uh, what someone has said. Okay, that's satire. Okay, check your biases. Check your personal biases, guys. This is quite difficult. Yes. Okay, confirmation bias leads people to put more stock in information that confirms their beliefs and discount information that doesn't. Okay, consider if you're. You have to consider if your own beliefs. Okay, could affect your judgment okay so that, that's why when you read um, when you read articles when you read sources online okay you have to uh, you know you have to exclude your biases because it might cloud your judgment when you try to discern whether that information you have read is true or not okay and lastly ask the expert uh, ask 
the experts. Okay, so ask a librarian or consult a fact fact checking sites such as factcheck.org, snopes.com, the Washington Post fact checker, or the politifact.com. These uh, these websites are actually being paid to do fact checks on websites. Okay, that have. Uh, you know that, that are posting information so there are actually sites that have that are being paid to do some fact checks on other websites okay so you might want to check on that all right so those are our ways on how you can spot fake news now of course even in social media ethical standards must always be taken into consideration Okay. Now, the use of social media, of course, has become part of, you know, humans' lives everywhere. And it allows the users to get and share information all over the world in a very short time. Okay. Now, unfortunately, the consequences of social media abuse in spreading information also affect the number of users who enter the legal domain resulting from the information spread on social media that is unethical so as an effort to reduce the problem in using social media ethical conduct is needed to prevent from mutual from mutually insult or mutual insult or accuse others for no apparent reason so as a matter of fact these matters will lead the users into law for being careless and spreading information on the internet so we have to practice okay ethics even in social media okay because the amount of information that is being shared in in uh, in in the internet okay might cause for other people to uh, think of ways that are very unethical Okay, so here are some ways in which we can practice or which we can uh, apply ethical principles in, in social media. So there, there should be ethics in communication. And you always have to use polite and proper words. Okay, you have to use the correct language or you have to cre use correct um, grammar when it comes to communicating in social media. Okay, you have to avoid spreading race, pornography, and violence issues okay i mean it's it's not really a good thing for you to look into these kinds of issues check the use validity okay social media users should be more intelligent in capturing any in, in capturing any information okay is the news valid okay do fact checks okay research on the author of the information Okay, research on that particular website if it's really credible or not. What else? Uh, in order to be ethical in, in social media, we have to be respectful towards others. Okay, we have to respect and appreciate other people's works, avoid plagiarism. Okay, copy paste is very easy nowadays. Control C, Control V. Okay, all right. And we should not do plagiarism. Please, let's let's avoid plagiarism. Okay, there are ways on how we can. <clears throat> there are ways on how we can use uh, other people's ideas that, that we see in 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 the uh, in the internet. Okay, we can we can quote okay the author. We can paraphrase what the author has said, or we can do re referencing. Okay, you reference the the the, the person who who. Where, 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 whom you got the, the information okay there are ways on how we can avoid plagiarism lastly do not share personal information too much my gosh okay so do not reveal all right do not reveal much okay lalo lalo na if the information you are revealing are parts or 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 some parts of it are being used as passwords <clears throat> Please be, please be, you know, please be very mindful in, in sharing information. Okay, it would be, it would be wiser for you to restrict your personal life, in in using social media. They even said, sabi nga ng mga iba, wag mo kapag uh, you know you you lumalabas ka, okay, and 
and if you go out with your family and walang may iwan sa bahay, wag daw mag uh, this is just an example, okay? Wag daw mag uh, post kung nasaan, especially if lahat kayo ng family mo pumunta sa lugar na yan, okay? Lalo na kung tao sa bahay. <coughs> okay? Because this is very, you, you know, mainit sa mga magnanakaw ito. Lalo na kung, you know, pinag, mama, pinag, pinagmamatsyagan yung, yung bahay ninyo for a long time. Okay? Huwag masyadong mag-share ng personal information in the internet. Okay? Alright? And, yeah, that concludes our discussion on Module 19 for our subject, Gen 006 Ethics. For any question and clarification, you may send them in our GC or you may send me a private message and I'll answer them as soon as I can. Thank you very much for watching our video discussion this week. Please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button for more updates on our video discussions in ethics. I'll see you again next time, guys. Goodbye!